Hello and welcome to another video about Unreal Engine 5. In this video, <coughs> we'll continue our uh, project uh, and we'll, we'll uh, improve the vehicle AI and implement the uh, throttle and uh, brake control. Uh, first, we need uh, to adjust the center of mass center of mass uh, we need to uh, click the override uh, of the center of mass and decrease the center of mass of this vehicle by minus 100 to decrease its uh, ability to flip and now we need to go back to our function find pass function and add some uh, nodes <coughs> now uh, we need to add the, the ability to break when it uh, sees a sharp turn coming uh, from the uh, when it approaches the sharp turn so we need to know if there is a sharp turn nearby we will uh, use the uh, yo values we don't need the minus or the plus we only need the one value it's turning it doesn't uh, it, it, it doesn't mind if uh, it is right or left we only need the value so we get the absolute of the value and we also get map range clamped plug the value here and uh, the minimum range will be 0 and the maximum 45 so if, the, if there is no uh, there is no corner approaching the value will be 0 and if there is a corner uh, nearby it will be 45 and when there is no corner we need to make the value 0 and if there is a corner uh, let's make if there is sharp corner let's make it 1 we will add some changes later and this value will be the breaking value break input make it to float here and at the same we will do to the uh, for the throttle input but the when the value is zero there is no way to flip the, this when the value is zero uh, which means there is no uh, corner the uh, throttle will be a full throttle and when there is sharp corner the throttle will be zero also add it here let's call it throttle input now let's copy or duplicate this here throttle input and let's get break input Now, uh, at first, let me delete this. No, this, uh, or just make it far. 
because if at the start it detects a corner it will apply the brakes and No, let's test. It doesn't move because that's let me just. Right thing is a break and put. Let's make it a little bit like this and test the throttle and put. Let's make it red. Let's see. Throttle is point nine. Why it doesn't move? Let me check. Uh, <coughs> we need to uh, add another another check. Uh, uh, another uh, branch uh, that checks the speed of the vehicle. If it is below a certain speed. It uh, releases the brakes and uh, uh, gives more throttle. Uh, now let's get the speed. Forward the speed in miles per hour. Let's check if it is below below fifteen branch. If it's below fifteen. We will. Uh, make it give full throttle and release the brakes. Get the throttle from here. Throttle on and the set brake input. Brake input to zero. Now the vehicle will maintain speed above 15. If it, is, if it becomes below 15, it will uh, give more throttle. Now let's check. Let me show this line. Now it moves, <coughs> it follows the supply. And uh, when it approaches the corner, it gives the brakes. And uh, if it gets below the 15 miles per hour, it gives throttle again and releases the brakes. And uh, by this, you maintain an average speed of more than 15 miles per hour. You can change it however you want. Uh, but in a straight line, it will. Uh, it will move uh, fast. Uh, you need the the fifteen mile per hour uh, uh, value is only when it uh, corners. Now the sharp corner it will break and better than before. Now I will uh, add another method. Uh, you can make the vehicle follow uh, 
a spline created uh, using navigation mesh so you can give it uh, any uh, location on the map in the navigation mesh and it will go to it and also you can make it follow the player I will show it to you now it's uh, easy you just create a, another spline using the pathfinding node now it will get to the end of the spline and will continue on its way also you can increase the value of the 1000 to make it see the corners from far far away and make it adjust the speed uh, from more distance but now I think it is fine good now let's make it follow the supply using navigation mesh now what we need is to uh, add the supply here supply uh, now to make it uh, follow a spline we need first the spline as we added here before spline component then we need to uh, find this path to the location we need we want and uh, make the spline uh, take the same points as the uh, past points so first we need to clear the spline points then we need to find path to location synchronously the start path uh, actor location our actor location and path end I will make it follow the uh, our character our car get uh, player pawn I always use pawn because the pawn includes the character and the pawns so if you are, do not use character uh, the player character will not apply to your uh, pawn because I'm using the uh, the vehicle is uh, based on pawn class not character class so the character will not apply to your to the vehicle get actor location let's do nav filter now get the pass points get pass points Let me make room. Need for each loop. And uh, we need to add the spline points to our spline. Add spline point. Coordinate should be the world coordinate. Now uh, we need another uh, uh, function to find the path. It's the same. We just need to change the path to a supply component. So I will duplicate it. Or uh, we can add the branch here. But I will duplicate it better. Call it nav mesh here change it to supply component delete the supply and connect these nodes
now let's delete this and bring the nav mesh method Here we need this apply in the path. Now let's test it. Now let's show supplies. So now it's following me, it's applying zip updating, adding points if I get away to add more points. Hmm. I it's thought because I got away from the outside the navigation mesh. Now it's came back. You can adjust the speed, the speed limit that we uh, made for the turn to make it follow the car faster we need to find the optimal speed that prevent uh, sliding or uh, flipping uh, now I think we are finished with this video in the next videos we will um, maybe implement more optimization to the driving mechanics and uh, also add the shooting and maybe some more complex AI to use in our game. Thank you for watching. See you in the next time.